Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, this one <laughs> is so unexpected. Oh my goodness, just wait. Um, the funny thing is, is when I picked it up, I knew it would sell. Did I know it would sell so fast? No. Did I sell it the right way? Mm, could I have made more money? Mm, maybe. We're going to talk about all of those things in this video. Let me know if you've ever sold this item and if you've had success with it. But oh my goodness, we are going to talk about eBay, Mercari, and Poshmark and selling this item on all three platforms. Which platform is the best? And did I sell it too cheap? Would you have parted it? parted it, I can't say that word, out or would you have sold it in a lot like I did? And something else happened. I got a message from a buyer wanting me to do something and I'm going to tell you about that and then I'm going to show you why I think they wanted me to do it. So let's get started here. The item I sold is right here. 34 good to grow juice toppers. You guys, they're juice toppers. How many of you would have walked right past these? All right, so here's the deal. I sold these for a best offer of $75 plus shipping. I have one bottle and you can see I've kind of got them categorized by different uh, cartoons or whatever. Like you got My Little Pony in the back. You got Elsa and Anna here, PJ Mask, Paw Patrol, Trolls, uh, Bingo and Rolly. Who are they? The Puppy Dog Pals, Minnie Mouse in the back. You've got Shopkins over here, Toy Story, and A Pet's Life. So here are my options. I could have sold these in categories. I also could have sold these individually. I just recently sold one for $7 plus shipping. I'm trying to remember, was it Kermit the Frog? It was in a recent video, but I sold one for seven. So if I would have taken 34 and multiplied that by seven, I would have made more money selling these individually. So let's look at some solds. Let's see if I sold it the right way or if I took the easy road and maybe a reseller bought this. I don't know. What do you guys think? How would you have sold it? But I sold all of these for $75 plus shipping. I picked these up at the Goodwill bins. So my cost of goods is probably less than $5. So I'm thrilled with making $75 on this. And honestly, I did not want to take the time to part it out. Parting it out is oftentimes going to make you more money, but it is also going to cost you more time. So I did have somebody reach out to me and they specifically asked for these two right here in the back. They are Shopkins and you can see them right there. And they offered me $20 for just the Shopkins. But here's the deal. When people offer me things for lots like this, I have to start over and create a new listing. I have to do pictures again. And I usually say no, because I don't want the extra work. I've already listed the item. So I said no. I can't remember if it was the same buyer that bought all of them or not. That would be good information to give you, but I'm not sure. So anyway, let's go over to eBay. And I just want to show you some of the solds. There are 43 in this lot. One recommendation I would have right away when I look at this listing is this is really distracting from your item. I would have a solid background so you can actually see what the person is selling. Now, if you go into the listing, they may have it set up differently. I don't know, but it sold for $159.99 plus shipping. I am not going in and confirming any of these sales. We are just going to kind of go through here, look at some different ones, and then we're going to go over to Mercari and we're going to go over to Poshmark. Um, Poshmark and Mercari are great platforms. I use List Perfectly to cross post all my items to those platforms. I have a video down below that shows you how to use List Perfectly to cross post. If you decide you like it, you can get 30% off your first month with referral code BOLO Buddies, all one word. If you want to join Poshmark after watching this, you can get $10 to shop with my referral link down below. 
And if you want to join Mercari, you can get $10 to shop and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff on the platform. So you're going to see why these platforms are good to be on. And those referral links are down below. Always appreciate it when you guys use those links. And it definitely helps you get free money to shop. So it looks like these were divided by the minions. It was crossed out. So a best offer was accepted. You can take this title and highlight it and go over to Terapeak and put it into Terapeak to see what it actually sold for. That's how you find out what the best offer accepted was. Uh, Terapeak is great for that. Same with this one, 110. There's 75 toppers here. And then let's see, 76 toppers, 97.99. Here are three toppers. $100 best offer was taken. So not sure what that went for, but there are only three there. So some of these are harder to find and individually can go for more money. And we're going to talk about that Shopkins here shortly. So stay tuned for that. Here is my listing and I got 75 for 34 of them. So when I look at that and I see that this person sold 76 for $97.99, I'm feeling pretty good about my $75. But here's the deal. Each of these listings has different ones in it and people are looking for different things, but these are definitely collectible. These are called pods, it looks like. So I'm not sure what those are. Maybe a different brand. Here are 82 that sold for less than 60. So it looks like the majority of people are lotting them up, but let's keep scrolling down. And you can see three sold for 35. Again, I did not confirm that payment was made. This is what the bottle looks like. All of these sold for $29.99. So I think it's really important to know which ones to look for and which ones go for the most money. Here is a set good to grow. This is the packaging and this is new old stock, $28.99 for the three plus shipping. I kind of wanted to get down here into maybe some of the singles. Like here's a train, Thomas the Train. It says new, so they must have just never used it. $30 on that one. Here's the cars, $32.95. So when you get into different categories, these are Coco Melon. I have heard that Coco Melon can sometimes be, um, people get hit with bureaus on that. So be careful with that. Um, I usually don't put Coco Melon on eBay because I've seen so many people have issues with it, but I don't know if they just had issues because maybe their item wasn't authentic. So just do your research on that. I'm not trying to scare you. Uh, just do your research. And you can see when they are in categories like this, they have a tendency to sell for more. Let's see if we can find some singles. Here is, oh, here you go. I had these two in my lot. So this is Bingo and Rolly. The puppy dog pals, two of them, $24.99 crossed out. So I'm not sure what that sold for. Probably maybe between $15 and $20 if I had to guess. And look at this one, How to Train Your ja Dragon, $25, 16 bids on one juice topper. Would you guys have walked past these or would you have picked them up? Let me know down in the comments. And here is Strawberry Shortcake, $22 crossed out. That one's a harder to find one, it looks like. Just trying to give you some of the ones that go for more. Iron Man, Spider Man. Iron Spider Man. <laughs> 20 bucks on that one. Care Bears, 1850. And let's see what else. Anything else popping out? Here is Paul Patrol Everst. Did I have Everst? I might have had Everst. $17.99 on her. So I probably could have made a lot more money parting them out, but that's okay. I am good with my $75 sale, but really I just want to make this educational for you guys. If you ever see these, because I feel like it's something you'd probably walk past and not think twice about. Most people are not hanging on to these. Their kids are probably drinking them and the parents are throwing them in the trash. So the collectors are out there looking for them. I'm guessing maybe limited edition. They only do so many at a time. Okay, here's one of the Shopkins. It sold for 15 best offer. That's one of the ones that was in my thing, I think. No, I had the cookie. I had the cookie. Hold on. We're going to talk about the cookie. 
All right, enough of this. Wonder Woman, is that Wonder? No, that's Batgirl. <laughs> no, it's Catwoman. She sold for 15. So you can see that, you know, they sell. Thomas the Train, all these different toppers. Okay, so here's the good to grow. And I put in Shopkins and you can see right here, the cookie that I had, somebody has it listed for 2604 with free shipping. Will they get that? I have no idea. But that is the one that I had in mind and could be the one that the person was trying to get from me for $20 for the two of them. Not 100% sure. All right, we are over on Mercari. So I have searched Mercari high price first. So you can see the different lots over here. And this may be a great place for you to source if you want to start selling these items individually because there are big bundles being sold on Mercari. This guy, Guardians of the Galaxy, sold for 15. This one sold for 14. So just to give you an idea of some of the ones that are selling for more individually, 14, 13, 13. Uh, here's, uh, is that Snow White? $10. Tails, $10. I mean, $10, I think, is a great buy for, um, I mean, a great sell-through price for one of these items, $8 even. So let's say I had 34 of them and I sold each one for $10. That's $340 and I just sold them for $75. So as a reseller, parting them out may be the better choice, but it may take you longer. So let's go to items for sale. Um, it looks like Good to Grow Blues Clues. This guy, people have him priced really high. I don't know. I don't see any solds confirming that this is a bolo, but it looks like people are trying to sell it high. So here are some actives. You could get all of these Paw Patrol for $15.20 over on Mercari. You could definitely part those out. Probably going to be long tail. Probably going to take a while to sell. Mine sold fast, $75 for 34 of them, and they sold fast. So kind of looking for some big bundles here. Not seeing a whole lot. A lot of people over on Mercari are putting them individually in around the $8 range plus shipping. So if that gives you an idea, if you want to start selling these, I would definitely get your items on all three platforms. All right, here we are over on um, Poshmark. $35 for the SpongeBob. This guy is from Hello Kitty. He sold for $27 on Poshmark. $22 for the Paw Patrols. Here are some more that went for $15. $15. Again, if you want to become a seller that sells these individually, Poshmark might be a good place to actually source. Let's go to um, all it or available items. And let's search, instead of high to low, let's search low to high. And you can get all four of these for four bucks. Now, you do have higher shipping on Poshmark. So I'm going to say you're going to want to bundle. But looky here, you guys, Blue's Clues. You remember right here, this guy, right? Is this not the same guy that is over here being sold on Mercari? Hold on, let me find it. Right here, that's the same one, right? $75, $40. That's what they have it listed for. Well, you can get it on Poshmark for five. <laughs> so are these people crazy? Or are they just wishful thinking? Or are they gonna get those prices and this person has no clue the value of this item? I don't know. I haven't done enough, enough research, but it's something that you can definitely look into. But it looks like $8 is, you know, kind of the going rate for a lot of these over here on Poshmark as well. So these are the ones that are, um, we're searching, let's see, what do we search? We search lowest first. These are available. Let's search high to low. High to low. So $49 for 36 of them. I sold 34 of them for 75. Again, it's going to vary by which items you have available. Here's a bunch of the Marvels. The Marvels seem to do pretty good. So not only being a seller on Poshmark and Mercari, but maybe potentially sourcing on these platforms. 
but you got to do your homework. You got to get to know the category. I didn't want to do that. Um, I just wanted to list it, sell it quick. And that's what I did. So $75 is what I got for that. My cost of goods was less than $5. I'm really happy with that. Could I have listed them individually for more? Yeah, I do think so. I think I could have made a lot more money, but I may have been sitting on those items for over a year. Eventually, would they have sold? Yes, I am a list it and forget it kind of girl. You guys know that. But in this scenario, with everything else that's going on with selling on whatnot and trying to get things listed on eBay and doing YouTube, the best choice for me was to sell them as a lot and potentially another reseller bought those. And I'm good with that. So that was the choice I made in this situation. If you guys are not following me on whatnot, I would love for you guys to check me out over there. There is a referral link down below. You can get $15 to shop with that. And I sell things auction style over there. I list everything. Um, I sell everything starting at $5 or less. So come on over. It's a great place to have fun, hang out in the chat, even if you don't want to buy. Um, but if you come over, you might find something even worthy of buying for a gift for somebody or even reselling. I've got a lot of people that are resellers that are sourcing from me because I'm not looking these items up. Uh, a lot of times I'm doing untanglings. I haven't looked through the stuff and I'm just selling as I go. And whatnot is totally different from eBay. You guys hear me say, list it, forget it, list it high. I'm not doing that on whatnot. I'm starting my items low and it's about selling in quantity. I can go on and sell a hundred items in one night on whatnot. So it's selling more for less. Would I make more selling those items on eBay and other platforms? Absolutely. But I'm trying to diversify, get on different platforms, trying out different things. And I really love whatnot because I get to hang out with you guys. So I hope you will join me over there. And um, I'm Bolo Buddies, all one word if you're already on whatnot. But if you're not, use that link down below. Get your $15 to shop. If you go to the live shows, I am leaving up some of my live shows so you can kind of see how whatnot works, what things are selling for. Some things go really cheap and I'm like, oh man, and some things go for more than I expect. It really just depends who your buyers are. Are they buying for personal use? Are they buying for resale? It just depends. You never know with whatnot. It's always a what's going to happen tonight? So go over and bookmark my upcoming shows. I hope to see you there. If you want to sell on whatnot, I have a referral link down below. If you click on that, it will tell whatnot that I referred you and you may be more likely to get accepted quicker. Uh, just make sure you give them all the information that they ask for. They want to know you have inventory. All right, you guys, thanks for being here and thanks for watching.